Good eye! <coughs> and welcome to today's vlog where I'm gonna spend the next couple of hours with this boat lady. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's hot. She's taken me, hopefully. I don't know, guys, I can't tell you where I'm gonna go or what I'm gonna do other than I'm gonna give 3,000 dong, 300,000 dong to this lady <laughs> for taking me on a boat trip into Heilong Bay. <laughs> Got no idea how long I'm gonna be out here. I have eaten, I have had some beverages she has got a big bottle of water that's good news because I didn't just go and get provisions no <laughs> I haven't and I can see myself getting a bit fasty so I'm going out I don't know where I'm gonna sit maybe that little cushion it's good <laughs> good eye good eye but I I am I'm going on look I'm on the boat Boat lady's got me on the boat. We are afloat. Where'd you work? Oh, she's away. You want me to sit here? Okay. Wow. That's me. <laughs> I'll get me out of if I can. Wow. Yes. It's good. Oh, you want me to turn around? Okay. There you go, darling. <laughs> She's got a mobile phone. Oh, mate, we've got a motor. We've got a motor. Wow. And I have got, I've got a central position right here. I've got my bag with all my gear. To my left, look where we're going, man. It's a bit choppy at the front. <laughs> It's awesome. Got no how long. I got no no how long. <laughs> Don't know how long I'm gonna be out in the boat with a boat lady. But you know what? I'm all right with the clothes I've got on. I am. I've got a spare shirt. <laughs> I have. I've even got different glasses to keep colour all coordinated. My feet are out getting a bit of sunshine. I've got some nice waves coming. I'm all right, Jack. I am going out on a boat. It just goes to show. Don't have to go to a booking office. Don't have to go to a ticket office. Don't have to see a towel. Don't have to go and see your person in a hotel. You do not have to even go online or go back to Hanoi. You do not. You just come down the river and find a boat lady. Awesome, man. Awesome. So it is a wonderful, wonderful view. Oh, man. So without further ado, I'll wait until we get amongst the mountains, the dragon's teeth. I'll tell you a story of Heilong Bay. Heilong Bay was formed many mountains mountains ago, many millions of years ago, when the Vietnamese and the Chinese dragons were at battle and at war with each other, yes, and there was a massive war of giant dragons, and they were so ferocious, the battles that took place high above in the skies, that the, all the dragon's teeth got knocked out, and where the dragon's teeth fell to land, that is what formed Heilong Bay. There you go. A bit of actual, real, factual trivia for you to take in. <laughs> That's what I read online anyway. Old fishing boat coming in. Wicked. Man, awesome. Awesome. And I, I do have to confess, guys, I've wanted to do this for many years. Oh man, we're gonna get his wake. <laughs> she's a good boat lady, I tell you. She, she's a good boat lady. She knows how to drive her boat. She does. Good 
too. And of course for me to sit here, ah, oh, it's just amazing. Front row view with a BFC to take some amazing photographs. Which of course you would have may have seen on Facebook already. Oh man. So if anybody's got any other idea of how these rocks were formed, do let me know. Fish and Boat City. All here. All harboured up. Probably live. Right here. It is a photographer's paradise. It really is. Loads of boats, man. And it's really nice to see that on this side of the water, this side of the bridge, it doesn't really seem to be industry, mining industry, doesn't seem effective here. No, this is the sort of little boat I'm on, look, that's coming in. <laughs> it's got a few scallops and snails. Nice little boat made out of a... Well, I thought it was a shipping container. Maybe it is, maybe it's just a bit of um, tin. <laughs> and it looks awesome. Even though I'm turning into the sun, oh, it's just awesome. Massive great shrimp boats, look. Ah oh, man, and there is a beach over there. It is awesome. Oh, she's doing a turn. pictures guys this the, the, the photographs mate it's just it's it's awesome I love it it's probably only be a short vlog on the boat trip because I spend all my time taking pictures can't do both but I cannot no I did say at the start of the trip I didn't know how long this would be going on for I thought a couple of hours <laughs> <laughs> it may only be 10 minutes. She may just be doing a lap around a big old rock right there. So I'm now looking at that place again. <laughs> and I'm thinking, is this it? I thought we might be going out a bit more to see. <laughs> like I say, I was like, I don't really mind if it's 10 minutes, I'll be happy to get back. I bet I've been out on my little boat, so I'm happy. These guys here are like, having a little bit of a fish. I'm hoping we don't, I bet she swings round to the left. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Probably take half an hour's journey, I don't know. They obviously got that little fishing rod on the go. Probably got that little spot. Someone's got a little boat house right here. So we're now going back. There she is. She's gone round left. <laughs> oh mate. So I reckon, I reckon that's it. Your tiny little boat journey in a long Bay. 
So I've been all up there today, all around there exploring. So if you do come with a boat lady, offer her a hundred thousand. <laughs> oh man. I think three hundred thousand is a tenner. I guess it's in the daily budget. I've got the sun they're gonna be shooting right across from the left. Nice little short vlog. So I tell you what I'll have to do. I'll have to edit in some of the little video clips I've taken. Okay, we're not going back straight away. She's gone round the mountain. We can't left a bit. That's where we went out through the boats that way. I'm now facing the sun. So I can't really do much filming. Look artistic, looks like it's about eight o'clock, it's like sunset, but the eagles flying, there's loads of eagles about. Oh, we're now taking a bit of a turn. <laughs> we are, I don't know if we're gonna go up up there a bit. But it would be good if we get to see a bit more. And then perhaps turn around so I've got the sun on my back. But one thing's for sure, there's plenty of waste in the Haylong Bay. There really is. Somebody did ask me, I did answer them, why I don't eat seafood in Asia. It's because the fishermen throw all their waste into the sea. They're the biggest polluters on the planet, of our ocean. They don't just reap it in a barbaric way of the ocean's in habitat for our stomach. No, and there's such a demand in China for seafood that they can't catch enough of it. They cannot, no. But it's almost, it's, all, it's also how they just throw everything overboard. My first experience of that was obviously in Phuket on a windy day and the amount of fishermen's rope, fishermen's nets, the amount of that waste, bottles full of urine uh, and everything else, that that gets washed up on the beach of Phuket. And it all comes from these guys in these boats like this, the fishermen, the fishermen of Asia. Oh man, I hope we go, we are, I think we are going this way, which means we will swing round. I'll have the sun on my back to gain some more pictures and, and video. But it's a bit like this, it's not always, I haven't got to die first, have I? No, I'm not gonna get sunburned to bits. I'm not, I haven't paid 2.2 million to go on a boat and being held a prisoner. No. <laughs> no, I have not. I haven't had to experience any of that whatsoever. For the sake of a tenner, I've got to come out on a boat in Aylon Bay. And that's it, that's plenty good enough for me. Don't have to even want to fly me drone about or anything. There's enough drone films been made at Halon Bay. And we are now taking a turn to head back to the harbour right over there. So we won't be going back that way. <laughs> so with the tenor, she's worked, she's, she's earned a tenner for about 45 minutes work fine by me <laughs> I can now get back cross that bridge bridge and have a couple of a couple of cold ones <laughs> she's a pretty good boat lady she reads the waters rather well of the weight from the other boats she has a bit rocky but I ain't got wet or splashed 
Georgia if you were a bad boat rider, I would have got wet. No bad doubt. Ah oh, man. <laughs> so tomorrow morning. Oh man. I don't really want to go back to Hanoi just yet. But I have found out, I was speaking to two Indian couples having breakfast this morning from Delhi. They were telling me the best way for me to get to Milano. How cool is that? So now I have a road map. They did. So when I fly from Hanoi, I will be flying from Hanoi to New Delhi. I will. I may actually drop I found a storage unit for $4.5 a day in Hanoi. So I may actually drop loads of stuff and go super light. I mean super light, just take me laptop. Flat. I might not even take me laptop, I might, I don't know. But I will, what I do know is I will be going super light. I will. Well that seems to be the end of the show guys. Not the end of the show, but the end of the boat. Ah, I do. We'll see how we should get on. I think I've got everything. It was all right. Oh, I've got to give us some money, yeah, so... <laughs> Begrudgingly. <laughs> well, at least I managed to spend some money. So what is it? I made a vlog the, the day before. How far does a million get you in a day? Well, you'd be hard pushed to spend a million in a day unless you do something like this. I actually spent half, under half a million, but today, I spent another half a million. <laughs> so it would take you two days in here to spend a million. No, I think we can get in. Well, I don't want to get in the drain. She's just blowing in steadily. All right, a couple other ladies now coming in, look. Mm? Are you good, darling? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yes. Oh. What you got? Yeah, yeah she, <laughs> she, she ain't gonna let me go off the boat until I give her any money. One thousand, one hundred, one hundred, one. Hang on. Oh, get the wallet out. She ain't got, she ain't got a dog until I pay her. That's fair enough. What's up, Run away. I ain't right, jumping in that water, no. You get wheels disease and all sorts jumping in there. I reckon. Oh, probably, probably dysentery off. You had a mouthful of it. Let's see how far this. Let's see, let's see what she says. <laughs> oh, where is it? That's Bart. She's hovering out still. Oh man, I haven't got hundred thousand to give her. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, where's all my big money? Oh man, unfortunately I've only got half millions. Can change. Three, you said. Three. Give me two. <laughs> She's trying it on for the five. One more. One more. That's it. One more. One more. <laughs> She's terrible, man. And look, look, look. Since, since I give her the money, the boat's racked in. Yeah, I know. Cheers, darling. You are a typical Vietnamese woman. <laughs> they are. Oh, man. Oh, cool, darling. Okay. Right. This debarge. And dying out without the ending. Oh, 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 hang on. I say that, I've got to cross that bridge yet. Well, I don't know where I put my bike key. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't leave it. It's the horse still there. The horse is there. I've got everything, darling, yes? Okay. <laughs> oh, right. Now, did I just throw the bike key in the bag with all my other gear? I hope so. I've got to find it though. <sighs> right, I'll see you in a bit. Hang on. Let's 
sand at the sapphire. Round two. Uh, the other one was just a happy ending for me. <laughs> On my other vlog of going to the other side and getting back safely across the bridge. Of which of course I'm still recovering from. I am. Hence, round two. Cheers. Oh, it's good. So I hope you like my little boat vlog. <laughs> we got to go in a part of Halon Bay. <laughs> That's about as much as, um, oh man, I really wanted to go and see. It was all right, I actually didn't mind the little boat trip. Like I say, it was, there's, there's no way right now where season is so low, I want to pay 2.2 million to go on a boat trip for two days and one night. I don't wear dinner, uh, uh, no, no, no. There's no way I'm gonna trust the food on them boats. No, not for me. It would be like a prison. I'd be paying to be captive on a boat. So even though I paid 300,000 a tenant to go out for a 45 minute, two hour boat ride, a two hour boat ride that was down to 45 minutes, which I was like, I was quite happy for really. <laughs> that meant that I didn't get, didn't get too bored. Didn't get thirsty, didn't get nothing, it was all right. It was all right, I weren't a bad little boat trip, man. Um, it was all right, I just, I was glad I'd managed to squeeze in as much as uh, pictures and a bit of video going out the way with the sun in the right way, man. It was all right. I've been to a long bay and I've been on a boat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But this whole place is a ghost town. The guy did give me a menu, I had a quick flip through it. And it's astronomical, 300,000, this even lobster is 3.8 million for a lobster. That's like well over 100 quid. Well over. Three point, that's like nearly, that's a lot of money for a lobster. Seafood prices here are expensive. They don't know, look at them, 300, crab, 300,000. Tenner for crab. Squid was a tenner, 300,000. The seafood here is expensive, even though it's right on the doorstep. Expensive. Oh, so I won't be having any seafood. I now will. I'm now hoping the, the market get going because I want to go and see the lady of the pork. I do. I want grilled pork. I want a big slab of that. And I'll probably buy two times the amount of what I bought last night. Just so I've got enough to munch on. Or I might buy a big old duck. Don't know. Ducks were, uh, they, they were quite a bit, I mean, they were 300,000 for a whole duck in, in Hanoi and that. Don't know how much her duck is. It's a tenner. I suppose a tenner ain't too bad for a roast duck. Barbecue duck. Oh, mate. But I'll tell you one thing guys, I am exhausted. It's been a long day. I kind of made the most of it. It's been sunny as well, so I caught a bit of sun covering myself in sun cream before I go out, but I can feel a bit of sun. Oh, what is it? Um, it wears you out, the sun does. It does, it tires you. And I can tell you, I'm absolutely exhausted and tired. And I'm a bit reluctant to go home before I have any more food, because I'll probably have a siesta, which I, I want to try and avoid. All right, mate, he's on his phone now. I do go and help myself for beers, by the way, because he's a bit too busy on his phone. <laughs> So I'll go to the fridge right myself and I think that's that's possibly me. Um, I'm disappointed they I haven't found a supermarket that sell these nearby. Otherwise I'd buy a couple. The fridge in the hotel isn't working. I went to get my pineapple that I bought from the market the other day. I had one last night, thankfully. But the other one, because it's a fridge and it's not working, it's like it's like putting it in an oven, so to speak, slow cooking. So the other pineapple's covered in mould. <laughs> So I'm not happy that, that not only is the fridge not working, it's destroyed the food that I put in it. And my milk had gone off this morning, so I had my coffee without milk, which I weren't happy about. So I will be pulling a hotel up about that, as I still, I paid them f five, and I'd have to give them 770, so I still owe them 270,000. So they're gonna, they're, they're gonna have to waver a bit of that. Um, that might be, uh, that might be the vlog when I check out. We'll see how they get on with like um, wavering the charge. And there's no hot water in the shower. 
And uh, good day, buddy. And the jacuzzi was cold last night, even though that was good fun. That was warm, lukewarm, like my beer. And when I go back, I'm going to book that again. I'm going to go have another lukewarm, loop beer tonight before I go and have a shower and then watch a movie. Hopefully, I'll find a decent movie. Um, I mean, see that Weinstein guy, right? People don't realise what, what a guy he was in the movie industry. I know he fiddled with a load of women and that, but they, they, that's how, they, they were grown women, by the way. And they were, they were only doing what they wanted to do to get into the movie business. He, <laughs> he abused his position to take advantage of actresses to get them on the big silver screen. But you know what, since Weinstein's been, been locked up, movies have been terrible, man. Uh, not to say they have been that mate, there's hardly any decent movies. I mean, you've got Marvel, or I watched a DC, what was it, Blue Beetle? What a load of rubbish that was. Um, I'll just put them on, I'll I just get on with that. So Death is Due Part, what a load of rubbish that was. Uh, I lost interest out of five or ten minutes, but I just like, it's back to me, it's just background and stuff. And, and the film's just so predictable. Uh, these days, at movies, so people need to really do something with movies. Hopefully Tarantino will bring out a film so I can actually watch something of, uh, of an interest. Because right now, they're just the same old story over and over again, just with a different, different costumes. Um, yeah, so movies are really... Oh, mate, they are. They're mega poor right now. Uh, Skull Island, King Kong was really good. I enjoyed that. And, and that was I was just disappointed I couldn't actually get to Skull Island. But where I flew my drone over, there's hardly anything left on Skull Island anyway. It's like, I don't know what the big fuss about, uh, of why they've, they've, they've uh, stopped people going there. There's nothing really to see there, you know. Ah, oh, mate. So, guys, cheers. Before I run on too much, cheers. Well, I'll get it into me while it's still cold. So I appreciate you watching, and until next time, au revoir.